Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is El Aquarela. Today we're gonna go to Central Park and we're gonna do a little bit of urban sketching outdoors. These are the materials that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be doing my initial sketch with a water soluble graphite pencil by Royal and Langnickel. Um, I'll be using Daniel Smith's paints and this tiny watercolor set that I created using an eyeshadow palette. I, I actually show a bit more of this in one of my other videos where I show all my mini watercolor sets. I can link that at the end of this video. I'll be using a water brush. This is actually from Wish. It cost me three of these for one dollar and they're actually not bad. They're very, very tiny watercolor brushes. Um, I'm going to use the, be using a Canson Monval watercolor um, sketchbook, 140 pound. Um, I've used this for other types of um, outdoor sketching in the past. And I'll be using a little bit of Uniball Signo gel pen. Not a lot of that, but just for a few little details. At the end of the video, I'm going to add some details. I'm gonna come back home after painting outdoors. And I'm going to add some details with colored pencils. I'm going to be using Faber-Castell grip colored eco pencils. Um, so now let's go to Central Park. I'll do a little sketching and we'll come back and I'll finish up the painting at home. I decided to go to the Glen Span Arch in Central Park. It's towards the north of Central Park and there are less tourists and people. Um, so it's a nicer place to sketch. After filming this, I did realize that um, the camera didn't really capture very well what I was doing on my sketchbook, so you can't really see it. Uh, so I actually ended up shortening this part of the video. So you can see what I was sketching, um, and now you'll be able to see the final so result. So we're back home now, and this is the sketch that I did on the site. Um, many times when I go out sketching, I like to finish a sketch at home. In this case, I'm using colored pencils to add some contrast and texture to the rocks, the leaves, um, the tree trunks and branches. Sometimes when you're out sketching in plain air, you don't have the space or the facility to just put your supplies out and sit down and finish things or add details. So I like to then do a rough sketch when I'm on site and then finish it when I'm home. It depends on the situation. Sometimes I do bring a stool and like maybe an easel and I will stay for longer and try to finish the actual painting or sketch on site. Which sometimes it takes me hours to do so. In this case, I try to do something a lot quicker. Um, I tried to keep it under 20 minutes, so it was just a quick sketch. It came out okay. I kind of feel like I should have made the sky more blue because you can't even see that the sky is blue in this in this sketch, or at least in this video. Um, but overall, it's not bad. I hope you enjoyed this. I really enjoy making these sort of plain air and urban sketching videos. Um, so if you like these type of videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, also leave some comments below and let me know uh, if you like these type of videos, where else would you like me to go around New York uh, sketching. I would like to hear your comments and ideas. Um, and I'll see you next time. I'll put at the end of this video a little um, kind of close up of the final sketch so you can see it in more detail. Um, but this was a lot of fun and I hope to see you all next time.